Hey everyone, this is Nemo. In this really quick video tip, I want to show you a very useful contribution a PrestaShop forum user came up with. His username is alexde2007 and it allows us to override, finally, modules controllers. As you might know, we can override classes, controllers, and modules as well, by default. However, if we want to change anything in a module controller, like this wishlist one I have here, we have to hard code our modification. This is where Alex's override comes in handy. So let's try it out. If you want to download the override, I added a link in the video description that leads to the related article I wrote. I just have it ready here. So I open up the zip file and then I can drop it into override classes. Now I need to clear my cache. So let me close this up, cache, class index, delete, and then I will refresh. Okay, it should have been loaded now. Before continuing, I wanted to mention that I am testing this on 1.6.1.4 and it probably won't work on versions older than 1.6.0.11, although I honestly didn't check it out, so if you uh, have a test and it works, please let me know. Now, let's try overriding this very wishlist controller. The way I can do it is uh, recre by recreating the same folder structure in the modules overrides. So I can go back to overrides, modules, and I can create a new folder named block wish list. Now inside it, controllers front. Then the name of my controller is mywishlist.php. So, I will create a new PHP file called mywishlist.php. I will open it up. And you can see the original controller name I have here is blockwishlist mywishlist module front controller. And this is what we want to extend. So, I will copy this. And the syntax, so I will open PHP tags first. The syntax is class block wish list my wish list model front controller so the original name plus override extends the original name okay so i will just try to kill the oops public function init content method for the sake of the example so we'll just use die here Okay, now I will clear cache again, although this is not strictly necessary, just in case. Cache, plus index, delete, and then, cool, it works. Just now, to demonstrate this was not possible before, let me remove that dispatcher override, so classes dispatcher, and we'll clear cache again. Oops, clear, not open. Refresh, and you can see it loads the original one. Very, very useful contribution. Thanks, Alex. So you can see it's still worth using PrestaShop 1.6 for its extensibility. If you also want to learn more on PrestaShop modules development, check out my course at the link you can see and click now on screen at nemops.com slash prestashop dash modules dash course. So this is everything for the quick tip. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.